Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and we're in the kitchen with Crystal now, all right? I started thinking to myself, I love to cook. I am a good cook, if I do say so myself. And so I'm just gonna start sharing that shit with you because why not? All right, today we are gonna be, we're gonna be doing something with these ripe bananas that I know everybody has. Tell me, tell me that I'm not the only one that buys bananas and either they are all gone in a day and a half and everybody's like, where did the bananas go? Or nobody wants to eat them. So we're gonna be using some of these ripe bananas. You're only gonna need three for this. So get three ripe bananas to make some bomb ass banana bread, okay? It's that time of year. Well, I, I feel like there's always a good time for banana bread because banana bread is delicious. Um, but it is that time of year. I feel like fall is perfect for banana bread and that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started. All right, you're gonna need a smaller bowl. You're gonna need a smaller bowl. I say small, this isn't small, but you're gonna need one bowl for your dry ingredients and then you're gonna know, need a larger bowl for your wet ingredients. And you want the larger bowl so once you put in the dry ingredients, everything has room to mix around in there. Okay guys, so let's start with the dry ingredients we're gonna put over here. You're gonna need some all-purpose flour. I don't know why I wore a shirt where the sleeves don't wanna stay up, but here we are. You're gonna want some all-purpose flour two cups of that. So one and two. It's about to get messy in here, y'all. All right, two cups of all-purpose flour. Next, we're gonna need a teaspoon of baking soda, which actually, we're just gonna bust the top open on this thing. All right, one teaspoon of baking soda. Put that right on in. Okay, and then we're gonna need a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so half a teaspoon of salt goes in. And that, oh, 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 oh. hold on a second. All right, I'm just gonna take a fork and mix that all around. Just get it all mixed. I am making a huge mess, okay? Y'all can see this. <laughs> you're gonna need one stick of butter or half a cup, however you're measuring out. You're gonna want that melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt my butter real quick and I'll be right back. At the larger bowl, we've got our melted butter. Am I the only one that loves the smell of melted butter? Like that just smells good. Mmm. Smells good. Okay, so we've got the melted butter. We need a large egg. Okay, so you need one large egg. And then we need the yolk from another egg. Okay, so we have the large egg in plus an extra egg yolk. Good to go. Next, we are going to put in one fourth cup of sour cream, trust me, okay? All right, you can use whatever kind of sour cream you want. You can use a light sour cream if you want to, but honestly, I feel like when it comes to banana bread, are we really worried about the calories? No. So we're gonna do the fourth cup of sour cream and this recipe will be linked in the description box down below if you want to make it. Okay, next up we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. So there we go, got that in. I'm also going to add a dash of cinnamon. Okay, we're gonna add that in there. I like cinnamon in my banana bread. So a little bit of cinnamon. Alrighty. I'm just gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna kind of mix everything together. So 
So it starts to become friends. Okay, next we're gonna take another bowl. Nobody said that this wasn't gonna get you kitchen messy, okay? And we are going to get these bananas mashed up. Well, that one went on the floor. Good thing it's in a peel. <laughs> and I feel like, honestly, you could do this with way riper bananas. These aren't even as bad as they can get. It's best if you take like a fork and you mash with the fork. You just want to get it nice and mashed. You want to mash the shit out of them. I'm going to mash these and I will be right back. Okay guys, so the three bananas have been mashed to absolute bits and I have mixed it with the other wet ingredients. So now you want to slowly integrate the dry ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this measuring cup I used and I'm just going to scoop some of the dry over into this and start to mix it up. You don't wanna dump it all in at once. It's just not gonna mix as well. I know I'm, I'm that impatient baker though that I'm like, it's all going in anyways, just dump it in. So we're gonna mix in a little at a time like so. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dump the remainder in. There we go, there's the rest of it. And mix up this dough. Alrighty, so we have that mixed up. Let me go wash my hand. Okay, so we have the dough. Next up, it's kind of where you're gonna get to freestyle. I'm going to put in I'm going to put in some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to get a half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. A little extra for good measure. Steal one. <laughs> and then I really like nuts in my banana bread. If you don't, that's fine. I have got some chopped walnuts here. You could also do pecans. You could add a little of Nutella in here. You could put a little peanut butter in here if you wanted to. You could add protein powder if you wanted. But I'm gonna do a half cup of chopped walnuts in there as well. Love walnuts, they're so tasty. And then I'm just going to kind of fold. We're gonna kind of you fold, press, the walnuts and the chocolate chips into our dough. Okay, so you're gonna need a loaf pan. You can put parchment paper in it or you could just spray it and put the banana bread mixture in the pan without the parchment paper. That's for you to decide. I don't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but you need to preheat your oven to 350 and you're gonna bake this for approximately I'd say 45 minutes to an hour. You want to bake it until a toothpick goes in and comes out completely clean. So I am going to move this mixture here that we have. There you go, you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna move our banana bread mixture into my loaf pan. This is a disposable loaf pan that I picked up at the grocery. Um, very inexpensive. This makes it easy if you're taking it with you somewhere. You can also buy these that have lids. So these didn't come with lids, but I'm going to bake it in this loaf pan and I will be back whenever it's all baked and ready to eat. Okay guys, the banana bread is completely done and cooled off. That's how I'm able to hold it obviously. I would say this probably baked for around 50 minutes, but with anything, I like to check it, you know, make sure that it's good. You don't want to burn it. So we're going to slip it out. Look, <laughs> look how pretty it is. <laughs> I have chocolate on my finger. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we're going to cut a piece. We're gonna see how it tastes, okay? Okay guys, so now, taste test. Mm. 
you know what I just realized? I forgot to add the one cup of sugar, but I will tell you this. It's still really, really good. The chocolate chips give it enough sweetness and it's sweet with just the bananas. So if you wanted to make this and not add the, the cup of granulated sugar, you could definitely do it and it's still really, really good. That is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. The recipe will be in the description box down below. Let me know if you try out this recipe. I can't wait to hear. Let me know if you loved it. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I will see you guys next time.